It's a brand new bonus week in GTA Online and we're gonna try to make the most money we can this week with the best money methods. The first method has a triple money and RP bonus on it. So let's press pause, go into online jobs, play job, rocks are created, go down to the versus jobs and then all of the Air Force Zero jobs are double money and RP, not triple money, my bad. Let's see if we can get a populated lobby and if these actually pay well. It's a minimum of three players, maximum of eight. Looks like we're gonna get a five person lobby, which is not bad i don't know if this is like a team type game mode or a free-for-all we're gonna start it up with four people and it looks like it's a free-for-all actually never mind we have one person on one team actually two people on one team so we have a jet right next to us let's go inside of it the laser protect air force zero so it looks like me and one other guy are basically on the same team and we have to protect them from one other guy i'm guessing so this guy is gonna get in that small plane we got the jet and we need to protect him so we got homing missiles and a cannon, which are pretty good weapons, so we should be good. Let's also not crash into the small plane on accident. Well, we found them, but they killed each other, so I don't know. So there's the attacker. No! All right, we hit him once and we got him. Nice, but the guy we're supposed to protect is actually smoking, which is not good. So we have to protect him one more time. Let's chase him real quick. Where's he at? Well, we lost. Looks like the little plane actually blew up after it was smoking there, and we lost that round, and that one guy won. Feels like we just need to be really coordinated with each other, which, I mean, we're not because we're not in a party together. We're not really making any communication. Can I be on the attacking team once, though? I want to be on the attacking team to see how it is. All right, cool. We're on the attacking team, so now we need to get that small plane while those two are defending him and blow that little plane up. We got the p 99 six laser jet just like we had before oh and looks like we also have this guy on our team so it's basically a 2v2 i thought it was a 3v1 at first but i guess not this round unlike the last round one guy is in a small plane one guy is protecting him and then we have two attackers me and progen all right we're gonna make direct contact oh my goodness let me try to use the cannon there he is come on we're not close enough and let's freaking go perfect execution i don't know where his defender was right there that guy did not protect him whatsoever but we blew him up with the cannon that was extremely easy i gotta say and we got almost ten thousand dollars from like a minute round looks like we're gonna be protecting once again i feel like it's kind of hard to protect them especially if you have more than one attacker which in that last round we had two attackers all right so now it's me and progen again so for some reason some of the rounds have one attacker some of the rounds have two attackers i don't know why that is but whatever this little guy is going quick holy crap each round the attacker is coming from sandy shores airfield so we should probably expect a plane to come from that direction good stuff teammate all right so teammate killed him once now he's gonna respawn very close and we have to make sure we get him in time there he is and we got him right off the bat holy crap that explosion was low-key on my plane a little bit. And then he's gonna spawn. Okay, he spawned a little bit behind us. He killed my teammate. Now I have to go and get him. All right, nice. We can lock on to him, which is perfect. I almost just killed myself with those missiles. Holy crap. Can I just respawn? Okay, nice. I could just respawn and teammate got him. Good stuff, teammate. Me and teammate are doing a pretty good job so far. Now, where's the enemy gonna be spawning this time? I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. Okay, I see him. Okay, we killed each other. We'll take it. That just buys more time for the guy in the little plane, so I don't even mind if we kill each other. And I think the little plane got to its destination, which means we won the game. Let's freaking go. And from those three pretty quick rounds, we made almost $40,000. That's actually a pretty solid payment, I have to say. I only set it to the first to win two rounds, so that was actually a pretty good payout. If you set it to the most rounds possible and you have eight players in here instead of four, you can make a lot more money as well. So I'm actually pretty happy with that payment. Definitely a pretty cool game mode i definitely enjoyed that highly recommend you try it out with friends if you're in need of any gta modded accounts account boosts and cash make sure to check out hyper resupply down below in the description they offer some of the cheapest and safest cash and rank services out there on all platforms doesn't matter if you play on old gen or next gen and they have lots of verified reviews by their customers too and you can even use discount code hacky at checkout for an extra 10 percent off now let's get back into the video and if you want to link up in the comments so you guys can play it together 
together feel free to down below the next money method is gonna be in free realm it's actually gonna be i believe double or triple money in rp on all of the business battles which we actually have in this session so it's actually kind of perfect business battle event cargo so i do see a yellow cargo icon on the map which is going to be gonna be right here in the city so let's go and take that cargo and we are in a public session you do have to be in a public session for business battles break into roger's salvage and scrap and steal the goods deliver them to the nightclub to earn goods cash and rp all right cool time remaining only three and a half minutes so i think we did join this kind of late usually they're gonna be a little bit longer than that hopefully we can still make a decent amount of money from this though we need to hack the security panel oh then we have to do a little puzzle we have to just avoid hitting these little brighter green walls all right nice we got our first try let's go inside of here we're gonna need to take out some enemies as well make sure you have some body armor and snacks for this game mode all right we have a cargo crate doesn't look like we can deliver any more than one unfortunately or can we no we cannot okay so there's a good amount of cargo crates we can only really take one i don't think we're gonna make it will we actually get some sort of payment for just for just holding a piece of cargo because unlucky for us we just joined this session late and the business battle was already going on so let's see are we going to get an actual payment from this well we got kicked out of there and we got a payment of only four thousand five hundred dollars just to complete that little business battle guide basically you just take out the enemies you get out of that building and then you either deliver it to one of your businesses or to a certain drop off and then you get a much bigger payment than we got for each of the crates you deliver you get about thirty thousand dollars so if you manage to deliver more than one crate if you actually do it from the very start unlike we did doing it solo you can probably get i want to say maybe like four crates maybe more than that depending on the business battle itself you can make a good amount of money anywhere from like 60 to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars from a business battle usually of course it could be much more as well depending on how much you actually manage to do another good money method right there definitely give it a go this week for the time trials which you can make about a few to a couple hundred thousand dollars by doing them regular time trial is going to be at the bottom right corner of the city rc bandito one which you can actually do daily so it probably varies location at the time of this recording it is right next to the regular but it might change and then the hsw one is at sandy shores next to this lake right here now click the video on screen now for the best removed vehicles from gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace